Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Uh, I apologize, it's been about a week since I've done the video, but it is the just now past the Christmas season and just before New Year's, so I'll squeeze in this video which looks at Arnold's second ever front cover. I just covered in my previous video Arnold's Junior Mr. Europe win uh, where he was featured on the front cover and that was in Craft Sport Review number 20. Here is Craft Sport Review, a German magazine number 28 which I actually own showing Arnold Schwarzenegger, very young there I believe his, uh, what well, this is 1967 in December so he's just turned no, sorry, uh, 1966, my apologies. He's just turned 19. And, um, because his birthday, I believe, is, is in August. Uh, so this actual photo was from a competition in Germany. The competition was actually held on the 30th of October. Yes, the 30th of October in 1966, called the Best Built Athlete of Europe, where both Arnold Schwarzenegger won the, I guess, the professional class, you could say, whereas the guy next to him, Franz Dischinger, won the junior class. Um, besides the cut-out pants, they've probably stuck on them which look ridiculous. This is Arnold's second cover. There's a lot of uh, talk on forums on the internet as to which covers are the first covers of Arnold but really the, the German magazines show you the first real covers because if you've read Arnold Schwarzenegger's biography um, that is Arnold the education of a bodybuilder you'll find that within his biograph biographical section he actually talks about the fact that there were not many uh, non-English non speaking European bodybuilding greats in the scene of bodybuilding back then. The only ones you could really say were Reg Park, who was um, English. Was he? Or wasn't he? Well, whatever he was. Uh, I think he was from England. Um, I should actually check that. But anyway... Um, there weren't many European athletes. And when Arnold came on the scene, he was the first, not just real European mass monster, but a real threat to the Americans. He was German-speaking too. And I mean, if you've read his biography, you'll see that in Austria and in, you know, in, in all these German-speaking countries, they weren't really into bodybuilding. It was seen as a real foreign thing to do. It was weird in a way. Anyway, this is Arnold's second cover, 20, number 28 of the German magazine Craftsfoot Review. Uh, I'll just have a quick flick through it so you can see what's inside. It actually, although it focuses, the first cover focuses on Arnold's uh, photos gained from the best built athlete of Europe from 1966, what this actually um, magazine focuses on is the Mr. Universe of 1966 and it says the the big uh, pictures from London and that's what this is all about Arnold's triumph I mean he didn't win in his first Mr. Universe appearance he lost against the American Chet Yorton if you know your history but the amazing thing is that Arnold was as I said a German-speaking European that no one had really heard of and suddenly he bursts onto the scene and comes second in the Mr. Universe, the NABBA Mr. Universe. If we fl uh, quickly flick through the magazine, here we go, the Mr. Universe, the amateur class was won by Chet Yorton, the professional by Paul Winter and we start seeing photos of Arnold, that's a very young Arnold uh, from a back double biceps pose 
we can see that in the professional class, as I said, Paul Winter won. But in the amateur class, Chet, uh, Chet Yorton won and Arnold was second. We then go through the rest of the mag quickly. I'm not going to actually do a review of this magazine because this is about Arnold's second cover. And here we have the photos from the Mr. Universe competition. We can see Arnold looks very smooth and that's mainly why he lost. Um, because the American Chet Yorton had a better tan, his legs were better developed, he was more cut. But still, for a 19 year old Superman from Munich, because he was actually living in Munich at the time, he um, came second. Uh, and he really was the talk of that 1966 Mr. Universe. You can see everyone's just staring at him. Everyone can see the threat coming. He's the new person to look out for. More photos of Arnold. I mean, it's like he won, but he didn't. I mean, there's so many photos of him because in the book of his autobiography, it's quite clear that he states that people kept applauding because he was such a young athlete and with so much potential. And really, um, as, I, as I say here, uh, Arnold has the next year a really fantastic chance to become the new Mr. Universe, which he became. Fortunately, I understand a bit of this German, so it helps in the translation. Anyway, I, I believe that's all there is. Oh no, sorry, there was a little bit more. Uh, as the front cover showed you, the photo of Arnold winning the professional class of the best built junior, junior athlete in Europe that was held in in uh, in Stuttgart, I believe. Yes, in Stuttgart. Uh, here is some photos where he won. This competition, as I said, was held on the thirtieth of October. Uh, yeah, thirtieth of October, almost a month after the universe. The 1966 Mister Universe was actually held on the twenty fourth of of September so a month before and Arnold won the best built athlete of 1966 in Europe in the senior category he won there and I think that's it so that's Arnold's second cover although the front cover shows you his uh, victory pose after winning the best built athlete of Europe from the 30th of October. The magazine actually covers mainly his Mr. Universe um, appearance on the 24th of September in London of 1966. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will make some more very soon on Arnold's first covers, covering Arnold's early years. Thank you very much. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe and let me know what you think. Okay, see you for now. Bye.